Today I am building this 2.5 way transmission line floor standing speaker. This design could be seen as a budget build since the drivers are not very expensive, but they do perform well above the price class. I am also not skimping on the quality of the crossover parts and this normally does add to the cost of such a build. It is all worth it though and the performance of the speaker is certainly not budget. The design is slim and elegant to fit into any interior space. After modeling the correct volume for the enclosure, you can see the transmission line inside here with dampening material in some key places and the transmission line opening facing the front. As used in one of my previous builds, the Dynamites, see the link to this video in the card above right or in the video description, I'm using the Hy-V B4N 4 inch woofer and a Peerless 1 inch Silk Dome tweeter. This is a fairly easy build and I have build plans available on my website at soundblab.net. I used half inch MDF for the cabinets, so let's start the build and we can look at the speaker measurements and do a sound demo a bit later in the build. I will give comments when I feel it necessary. If you have any questions about the build, please leave them in the comments below. I always try to answer all the comments as best I can. First, I just want to take a quick minute to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn real life skills taught by people who actually work in these fields. Now, social media is a little bit daunting for me, but with Skillshare, I was able to work my way through it and acquire the necessary skills with their learning path, social media expression create for Instagram and TikTok. Classes are structured so that you can take it at your own pace and when you want to learn, it's completely up to you. My favorite course in this learning path is finding Instagram success to build an Instagram account people care about. I have much more to learn, but I'm now certainly on the right track. The first 1000 of my viewers to sign up using the link in the description will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video, now let's get back to it.
even with the best planning I still make mistakes and here you can see that I did not allow an opening for the crossover to be mounted and I had to cut out a section from the back panel. It will make a little bit more sense later so keep on watching. This is the modeled frequency response with a crossover frequency coming in just below 4.5 kHz between the tweeter and the midwoofer. The impedance is a nominal 4 ohm with the dipping ever so slightly below that across the tweeter range which is perfectly okay and not a problem for a 4 ohm rated amplifier. The actual measurement response correlates well with the modeled response and we have a very good flat response curve. Base response is not shown since it's very difficult to measure that accurately in my room but the tuning suggests a 45 Hz uh, minus 3 dB point and from listening I can say that it does get down to that easily.
If you want to build yourself a speaker that will outperform similar options available commercially off the shelf for way less investment, apart from your time and having some fun building it, then consider the speaker. It is small and elegant and the options for finish is up to you. Choose to paint it like I did or apply a wood veneer. I would love to see what you would do to make it your own. I chose to paint mine with a satin enamel paint and a paint roller because it's an accessible method for most and you can get a decent finish by taking some care and time. I hope that you enjoyed this build as much as I have and thank you for watching. If you would like to support my channel and see more builds like this then please do so via Patreon and YouTube memberships. Links are in the description below. Thanks to those that are already supporting me on these platforms. Subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when new videos are uploaded and give this video a like. It certainly helps me to know when you like a project and hopefully also the YouTube algorithm. But let's play a sound demo. Of course this is just to show that the speaker plays and works not for uh, judging what it sounds like in real life. For that, well, you will have to hear them in real life. For now, take my opinion as a guide and consider these as a project option. They do sound great. Stronger. 